What's up guys, today we're going to be discussing how to get OETS certified. <sighs> okay, I, I might be playing jailbreak. break, crap, alright. So, first you're going to want to enroll into OETI. So, how you're going to do that is through the application, obviously. But, first you're going to want to make sure you meet the requirements on the exam. You need to make sure you have no records within the last four weeks, and you can't get them expunged anyways, unless this requirement is met. No, like, 15 plus records, just get them all expunged before you get to the ETI. It helps you down the road anyways. There are four phases within LETI, each about one to two hours long. Phase four is about three hours long. So you need a lot of time under your belt in order to complete LETI. Second is don't be... Just don't be one of those people who, you know, has a bad attitude all the time. I'm pretty sure that's self-explanatory. Yes, you need to be in the state of Mayflower Discord. I'm in it. Here we go. And you do need your account verified with the two-step verification. Pretty simple. So now we're going to talk about enrollment. There are four stages. First, the basic application check. If you're included in the chat... On the um, let me think. On the tracker, it's just if your application is not one of those troll applications, if it's deemed serious enough, failed won't be on the tracker. Pretty obvious. Your second is just they're gonna check your criminal records in New, ha New Haven County. That is pretty simple. Prove the kind, etc. Then they're gonna do a background check. This is basically check to make sure you're not in gangs or you're, if you're not alt account. Or any circumstances that may deem you someone who might go rogue or gun deal down the road. So yeah, then if you get accepted and all of these um, steps are met or stages and qualifications are met, you will get accepted. And if not, you fail. That's pretty pretty simple. <laughs> all right. So then you'll be put on the enrollment tracker. And the enrollment stage is again right here. So only those prisoners be added. That's self-explanatory. Okay. All right. So for example, uh, let me think. I I division law. Like if you have a history of going to rogue or gun dealing, you're probably not gonna accept it. Trying to find. Like for example, here you pass. Like, for example, this guy, you pass the records, your records are good, or your application's good, your records might not be, or all, you have to pass all the stages, like here, pass the base, the first stage check, or the records, the background, then actual acceptance. So, yeah. So, now, congratulations, you're enrolled. Uh, let me pass 300... 333 are submitted, again, about 400, 300 to 400 are submitted each time. It is a big demand, but do not, do not fret. They don't have a specific limit for each class, I don't think at least. So, um, yeah. Yeah, do not DM me if you guys have, they don't really, you know, they don't have the answers to your questions, most likely. So, if you do have questions, go to this. You frequently ask how you come. Yes, yeah. Honestly. And you can go to the info. Sit and fill in full distance. Right, yeah. And then upon that, you get getting two great tickets, both on record check and background check. You will then attend four phases, each yeah, they have small assessments. They're easy. It's just basically questions of what happened in your phase, like what was taught in the phase. And then the final exam is all the phases and like all the phases assessments basically put together with some stuff added. So, yeah. So basically these are basically the steps but i'm going to be discussing all these in full detail there are four phases 
and basically each phase consists of what you need to know for a law enforcement officer like phase one i can't exactly